Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the basics of Excel spreadsheet estimating. Before we start, I just want to give the credit to the book we're going to use. This is the DeWalt Construction Estimating available on Amazon for those of you who want to purchase the book. This is the sketch we're going to use for today's exercise, also from the book. Uh, today, we are going to set up a simple spreadsheet, recording some basic information about the project, which is this house. Then you calculate the total square footage of the house using some simple spreadsheet formulas. And those are really simple tasks. Uh, the idea is just to learn or review some of the fundamentals of Excel. First, we're going to start with the software. Go to the lower left corner of your screen and then type Excel and then click on Excel 2016 or 2019, whichever the version is. And when you get to this, just click on blank workbook. Now you are looking at uh, the main interface of the software. A few things I would like to go over before we start. On the top, you have all the toolbars and also the command buttons, uh, which we are going to use very frequently. Uh, over here, this is your data entry screen. Uh, this, on the left side, you can see the horizontal lines are called the rows, and then the vertical lines are columns. At the intersection of rows and columns, and then you will have the cell. Um, also, you will see on this side where you have your screw bar, you can always go down and up. You can go to the left and right. Uh, there's also a tool for zoom. You can always zoom in, zoom out, as you wish. Now we're going to put in some project basic information. Go ahead and select uh, cell A1, which is up left corner of the data entry screen. If you have not done so, make sure you zoom in so that you can see everything clearly. If you have no idea about uh, the zoom, how the boot zoom thing actually work, uh, you can always go to view and then click on zoom to selection. Now you have a comfortable view where you can type the information. First the thing we're going to do is type job name, then hit enter on your keyboard. Then keep typing job address, hit enter again, then owner date. That's all you have to do. By this time, you probably noticed uh, the column is too narrow. So in order to fix this, just pick column A and then go to somewhere between column A and B find an indicator, double click on it, the column will be able to expand, so now you see everything so clearly. Go ahead and uh, type three pieces of information, including job name, job address, and owner. When you're done, do the same thing. Pick column B, and then go somewhere between B and C, Find the indicator and double click, expand the column. Now for the date, we're going to put in our uh, date for November 5th, 2025. Yeah, November 5th happens to be my birthday as well. Uh, when you're done, pick this again, go to the home on the toolbar and find alignment to align this thing to the left. If you don't like uh, the format, you can actually do more uh, by right-click, pick format cells, 
from that, then just pick a date, then choose the format you like. For example, most of us probably prefer this to be spelled out. So pick that and then click OK. Next, we are going to calculate the square footage of the house. So go ahead and uh, on toolbar, click on view, then zoom to 100% if you like. If you don't uh, want it 100%, you can always actually pick a zoom level. Uh, in my case, I probably always still pick 100%. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, go ahead and uh, type some information. Area calculation, length width, uh, length times width would be the area. The area of the building can be calculated in a few different ways. One is deduction, which means you take the whole thing, which is 40 by 30, then deduct 16 by 3. The other choice is addition, which can be done in two ways. One is to divide this into left and right, which means that it will be 22 by 16 uh, plus 24 by 30. Or you can do the horizontal division. You can be looking at 22 by 40 and then 24 by 3, whichever works. Back to the spreadsheet, we decided uh, we're going to go with the addition methods by dividing the whole building into two rectangles, 22 by 16 and 30 by 24. Move to cell D7, the one below area. Now we're going to put in a formula. Go to your keyboard, type equal sign, click on 22, type a multiplying sign, Click on the second number, 16. By the way, I want to remind you that B7 and C7, you should not type those cell reference. They are automatically put in by Excel when you click on 22 or 16. Now hit the Enter key on your keyboard. Then put uh, SF for square feet. Uh, now we're going to copy this formula down. Uh, if you have trouble in seeing it, then you can go to view, zoom to selection to have a better view. Uh, with this cell selected, go to the lower right corner and uh, your cursor will change from a white cross to a really small black cross. So this is the time we can drag on the formula to copy it down. Yeah, when you click on this new formula, essentially it does the same thing as we did for the area calculation. Uh, also, you can do the same thing with uh, square feet right, for the unit. Uh, now we're going to zoom out a bit. Uh, this time we're going to do the summary of the two rectangles. Go ahead and type total area. Go to uh, D9. Then we're going to add up those two numbers. Uh, what do we do is go to Home tab and then find Auto Sum. This is a function. Uh, function means predefined formula. Click on that. It's asking you, uh, do you want to add 352 and 720? Apparently, that's what we want. Hit Enter, so you get a total. Uh, drag it down on the unit. Now you have a summary of the area calculation for the building. OK, now we're going to do a little bit of formatting before we print the spreadsheet. Apparently, on the Home tab, we do have uh, some options here for the font. Uh, there, there's a button to make everything bold. Or you can add a little bit uh, italic font. 
and also bold. If you want to highlight some of the things we had, you can then do the underline. Uh, of course, you can change the size of the font. Uh, that includes both text and uh, numbers. Okay. Now the border. What do we want to do is just to select what we typed in. And then over here, there is the option for border. What we usually do is to put everything, every cell with the border. So click on all borders. Yeah. One more thing, spell check. Go to the top on review tab. You will find ABC spelling. Click on that. The Excel, uh, the software is trying to pick on R-E-T-C-T. -T. What we meant is rectangle. So we're going to ignore all. Seems like uh, that's the only thing uh, we have to deal with. For printing, all you have to do now is just to go to File tab and then click on Print. Pick the printer you want. In the future, we are also going to look into the options under page setup, including things like header, footer, logo, the margin, the scale of the sheet, things like that. Uh, before we conclude, make sure you save your file. Go to Save As and the name your file save the file under a directory that you can find tomorrow. I think that concludes our tutorial today. I, what we covered are just the fundamentals of Excel spreadsheet. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. You can provide some feedback uh, in the comments section or you can subscribe to the channel. So this way you can get the latest update. We'll see you next time. Thank you.